Ayla here with Crazy Science. Hey guys, Aislinn here with Animal Queen's Adventures, and today I have my friend Brooklyn here with us. Hey Brooklanders! Today we're doing a rematch on our old rocket video, except this time we're doing it with dinosaur eggs. As you guys may remember, we used um, chicken eggs um, on a rocket, but my egg got murdered by Aislinn. Not cool. Today's eggs are going to be these limited edition Jurassic World captives build and battle dinos. We have used their egg as the nose cone to both of our rockets, and they have to keep the slime and the dinosaur in their cone safe upon re entry. So now is the time that Ayla is going to mount her Ankylosaurus. She so humbly named Bumpy. Isn't that right, Brooklanders? Yeah. All right. So if you like Camp Cretaceous, hashtag Camp Cretaceous there. Okay, so they are now going to seal their eggs. Ayla is team what? And Kylosaurus. Yeah. Now these are the cool uh, battle cards they came with. If you like the cool graphics, this is an Ankylosaurus killing a T-Rex, I guess. Um, I have a friend named Ethan. I'm sure he's going to comment on it when he sees this video. Because he thinks nothing kills T-Rexes. I'm joking. All right. So with that said, the girls are allowed five pieces of hot glue to seal that egg shut. But the egg has to be clicked first, and then we can just do five teeny dollops on there. Now, if Ayla is team in Kylosaurus, Aislinn and Brooklyn, what team are you? Parasaurolophus. Let's see that Parasaurolophus. It's a very slimy parasaur. <laughs> Look at that it's cool graphic of them petting it. Okay, ladies. Mount your astronauts into their rockets, and we are preparing to seal. I am not going to film us putting hot glue on the egg because that's useless. <laughs> So let me explain my rocket. This is my egg that's protecting the dinosaur and the slime. And my rocket is made out of tin foil. Tin cans. Tin cans. Aluminum, soda pop cans. Yeah. And it has hot glue, cardboard, um, a foam connector right here. And there's wadding and a parachute to help slow it down when it tries landing. Awesome. Okay, and all these bumps are reminiscent of the theming of her Ankylosaurus. Yep. So, because each one of these rockets had to be themed after their pilots. Their pilots. And so, wait, wait, wait you got to name your Ankylosaurus. Bumpy. Bump. Okay, so it is officially bumpy. I thought you were joking. Okay. <laughs> Let's launch this thing. Launch crews, are you ready? Yeah. Go launch. Go launch. Science crews, are you ready? Go launch. Uh, dino crews, are you ready? Go launch. Life support systems, are you ready? Go launch. Capture systems, are you ready? Go launch. We are prepared for takeoff. We have the safety barriers in place. We have the 30 foot launcher. And we have the egg. Let's just appreciate the painting of the Ankylosaur rocket. I just barely bent the tip, so I'll fix that. We have a parachute. Hey, the can has landed. Let's see if I can beat it there. We have broken egg chunks. But guess what? Let's free your dinosaur. I think you still got it to stay alive. As long as the dinosaur and the slime are okay. What just the? break the hot glue. You guys just peel it off. Alright, show us Bumpy. Show us Bumpy. He lives. Bumpy lives and so, is the slime dirty at all? Nope. Okay. Hashtag team Bumpy right here, guys. What do you guys think? What's up, Brooklanders? What's up, Brooklanders? <laughs> she choked on camera. <laughs> All right. The parachute did work, but it got a little tangled, but it kept Bumpy and the slime alive. It was, it was like a helicopter. It was like a helicopter spun on its way down. So, guys, that means we are ready for our next rocket. 
All right, while we're preparing for Izzy's rocket for Animal Queen's Adventure, Spooky Science just launched. We have a perfect back half. I was worried these were going to fall off, but they actually did really well. You can see the blast marks from the engine. The engine's still in there. It held perfectly in place. This can, it seemed... There's two cans? That one had it hard. We found two pennies. Oh my gosh, yeah, this thing, uh, that's, that's, a, that's an intense break. It's all left over from the engine in there. Good one. Hey Bricklanders, today we will unboxing rocket science. As you can see, we have sealed the egg. This is the nose cone to help it glide and smooth through the air. We have eight wings to hopefully help it kind of stay a little more balanced. We have decorated it like this is the sky, a volcano, Parasaurolophus, because we have to theme it after the dinosaur for our pilot, and the fire that's clearly coming out the bottom of the rocket. Um, if you open up the rocket, you can tell we have a parachute inside to help make slow it down on the way down. So that way, our my slime and dinosaur does not. And what's the name of your Parasaurolophus? Para. 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 Parasaurolophus. Okay, now guys, for all you Animal Queens adventurers, I have not prepared the engine yet. I have to put a fuse and wadding in there, and I don't do that yet until it's ready for launch, just for safety reasons. So let's go ahead and put that in, and you all can see what it looks like. All right, whenever an astronaut returns safely back home, even if there's complications with their craft, we give them a salute. Everyone, salute Commander Bumpy. Oh, yeah, Bumpy. You now, we must honor those about to travel into the heavens. We have Commander Para with launch team Camp Cretaceous with Animal Queen's Adventures. If you guys feel like Ayla's craft, go subscribe to Spooky Crazy Science or Spooky Science or Crazy Science. Yes, I get the hashtag and the actual title mixed up. Or if you think Animal Queen's Adventures, aka the team Camp Cretaceous today did better, go subscribe or subscribe to both because they both need it. And we have 30 foot safety cable behind protective cage barrier commander para we are about to send you upon a journey like no other your paint is awesome guys launch systems go launch oh who said that safety systems go launch. Go launch. protective go launch. cage systems go launch. life support systems go launch. launch team are you ready Beautiful. It's coming back. Oh my gosh. That was a perfect launch. I don't think my egg broke. It landed in literal soil. And guess what? I think Izzy is the official winner of the day because the egg did not break. Even though your parachute actually did better, hers got lucky enough to, to land on safe substrate there. That is yeah. muddy. That's what happens when you murder... Wait, why are you being rewarded? You're the murderer of Gomez. All right, let's check out your egg. Let's, I'll go check this out while you prepare to get the hot glue off. Beautiful launch with a beautiful landing. Dad, can I touch it? Not yet. Okay, it's mostly salvageable. Let's see if we can find the impact point. You can tell it rained here. Oh, we have the impact point right here. Nope, maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, so the engine stayed in this time because I decided not to sabotage Izzy's rocket. That was a joke to the last video. Guys, go check out that first video. Smoke's still coming out of it. These were, I'll show you what engine we used today. So, guys, really fast. If you have interest in building homemade, yeah, that parachute's toast. Hey, I kept my safe. If this was a parachute contest, you would have won, okay? But, but yes, not. but every so. component of your rocket still, if you pull that parachute off, pull it off, pull it off, pull the parachute off, pull it hard, yank. That was the slime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Totally. Okay, just, okay, put it back in though, but essentially this rocket is 100% reusable, including the nose cone. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag farty slime girl. <laughs> Hey, Bricklanders! All right, we're making fun of Camp Cretaceous, by the way, and other 
pretentious preppy. Uh, you can see the, the crater mark of where we injured. Guys, let's just give a, a, an appreciation towards that. <laughs> That's, that went in pretty well. So there we go. Let's get this thing opened up. Mine went straight. That's why it's better than yours. Well, yours hit concrete. Yeah. Because you're it went lucky. Straight. Cause look at this. This one still protected you. And it actually, it did, and it still did. It didn't. Yours. Well, it still it. creates drag a little, just not a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yours would have broken open. Yeah, so, so if if it would have hit concrete, do you think you would have won? Yeah, I still would have won. What do you think? Hey, commenters down below, if you are team spooky science or crazy science and you think Ayla should have won because hers hit concrete, comment below. If you think Izzy won fair and square, I comment below. Fair and square because she made hers crooked. If mine was crooked, it would have done the exact same thing. But mine I made it straight, crooked. it went straight, therefore it came back straight. Okay, well, while you two argue this, I'm going to show what engines we use so kids and their parents make sure emphasize parents, kids, you are to never play with rocket engines or any explosive without your parents' help. All right, so today we use the E12-4. This time, last time was the E12-6. I'm actually quite happy. These are fairly large engines when it comes to hobby engines, but they're fairly large. And the wadding, they come with it. We don't use the cannon fuse, the hobby store, which, hey, sad hobby stores. If you want me to start using your rocket engines in these videos, I will actually shout you out because last time we did this, the shorts got several thousand views. These are the fuses and they have the electronic launcher. Creates that little tiny primer head that go off inside here and that launches and you hold them in place with that plastic. So there you go. But guys, again, safety first. Don't touch anything without your parents' permission. Let's go check on Commander Para. Okay. Open. Oh, Commander Para's tail fell off. Where's the tail? Sucker. Wait. Wait. But didn't it fall off? I won. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you put it together in the egg? Yeah. No. Izzy, you're supposed to have the dinosaur completely intact. Oh. Commenters below, there are some technicalities here. Sand versus concrete landings. Parachutes versus no parachute workings. Having dinosaur fully assembled in the first place. Okay, it, the dinosaur didn't break, though. But the, the idea was to see if you can keep it safe enough so it wouldn't come back apart. Because no, these you they, can... they're really not. Commander Bumpy, how do you feel about this? Where's Commander Bumpy? Over there. Oh! Been digested Para, how are you feeling about this? I feel like I should have won. <laughs> you did win. Hey guys, this is not a sponsorship, but we are huge fans of Jurassic Park and supporting them. And uh, go check out the 30th anniversary captives eggs the kids love the slime they love the dinosaurs they love putting them together they are a great size to play with mostly great sculpts some are better than others but guys just go give them some love they're a great great present so parents keep that in mind my kids did one review and one of them got almost a straight 10 out of 10 so there you go go pay the jurassic world or sorry jurassic park 30th anniversary dinosaur eggs you know we can buy them at walmart and other major providers but again they are not a sponsor i just love them that much